Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss the term quantitative and qualitative data and we will learn what is statistics. In the previous chapter, we have studied what is economics activity and economics as science or art or both. Now we discuss the meaning of statistic which is used in economics, economic planning and making policies by government. We live in the age of science and technology and have seen new developments and progress in all spheres of life. With new researches, new inventions in science, that is physics, chemistry, medicine, technology, etc., new appliances, new systems, new source of energy, new machines have been developed that make life more comfortable. All this is possible because of man, whether male or female, is gifted with thinking and reasoning which had evolved through the ages. This faculty of thinking has given us civilization. The wheel, agriculture, the planned cities, the irrigation system, electricity, machinery, etc. We now have better and better communication and transport systems, better organization for the complex business and administration today. All this has become possible since the human intelligence has applied itself in finding ways of examining phenomena, natural, social, economic, around us in a systematic and scientific manner. A methodology has been developed for objective empirical study of things. The empirical methodology consists of making observations and collecting information analyzing the information and drawing conclusion and retesting these conclusions by further observation and thus laws are made. Whether a common man knows it or not, he uses this method to some extent into day-to-day decision making. While buying vegetables, he looks at different qualities and inquires about prices at various shops and then mentally calculates or works out what to buy from which shop. A shopkeeper observes from his daily experience what items and what brands are in demand and decides to stock these items and brands in larger quantities. The manufacturer also observes the pattern of demand and manufactures large or small quantity according to the demand or manufactures new item accordingly. With the modern mass media, the newspaper, the radio, the television, etc., it is possible to collect information from a wide area and in a short period of time. When a manufacturer or a businessman studies the pattern of demand and supply, he collects data or information systematically, gets it organized in some logical or systematic way analyzes the data according to certain principle and draws conclusion. He has to do it carefully since a wrong judgment can completely ruin him. Next we come to quantitative data and qualitative data. An empirical investigation is an investigation where facts are collected through observations. In physics, chemistry and botany, only those things that can be observed by our senses, seeing, hearing, touching, tasting and smelling are taken to be reliable and then recorded. We all agree that the rose is beautiful. How do we reach that conclusion? We all think its color, shape and above all its smell. In this respect, it is not a subjective or personal conclusion. But I say that I like the rose most of all the flowers. This would be a subjective statement. A scientist, however, make very precise statement. He would say that roses have a sweet smell. Similarly, people might say that theft and robbery have increased these days. This might be a conclusion based on impression people get from the newspaper reports of cases of theft and robbery. This impression may or may not be true. We can find out whether it is true or not only by comparing the number of cases of theft and robbery reported during one year with the number of cases reported in other year. 
an investigator would collect such information from police record so what is quantitative data when information or observations are recorded in numbers or quantity we say we have quantified information for example the number of people in a state who are strict vegetarians height or weight of students everyday temperature income of individuals prices of wheat during this week number of people in country are really poor rich middle class number of people are illiterate who will not get jobs number of highly educated and will have best job opportunities etc are known as quantitative data however not all information can be numerically expressed it is not possible in certain cases to measure or quantify information that is preference of people viewing tv channels intelligence of students appreciation of art beauty music etc supposing a selection for a post is to be made candidates are interviewed some questions are put to them and their qualifications are taken into consideration the interview board discuss the comparative merit of the candidates and rank them for final selection this judgment is not quantifiable it is based on impression non quantifiable or qualitative items can however be measured in percentage for example percentage of people watching tv news in english or hindi or other regional languages this information obtained in percentage is called qualitative data it may be collected through questionnaire or opinion poll using landline or mobile telephone internet or newspapers social sciences such as economics sociology management etc do not always deal with what we call inherently measurable or quantifiable facts now the question arises what is statistics the term statistics have been derived from the latin word status which means political state the term statistic was first used by german scientist gottfried akenwall in 1749 he is known as the father of statistic many statisticians like baude edgeworth carl pearson fisher and others have added to the development of statistics generally it refers to the science that stores quantitative information but to a student of economics it is much beyond that it involves the study of the methods and techniques of collecting classifying and analyzing the store of quantitative information with a view to getting some meaningful conclusion it is necessary to have quantitative measurements even for things which are not basically quantifiable this is necessary for the preciseness of statement the systematic treatment of quantitative expression is known as statistics not all quantitative expressions are statistic we will see that certain condition must be fulfilled for a quantitative statement to be called statistic we will also consider later the functions and limitation of statistic thank you for watching edupedia world videos